All right, let's take a look at adding and subtracting radicals. Whenever we add or subtract radicals, the radical has to be exactly the same. You have to have the same thing underneath the radical. And for example, if one of the radicals is a square root, the other one has to be a square root. If one's a cube root, the other has to be a cube root and you have to have the same under the radical. So here we have three square roots of two plus five square roots of two. So this is similar to combining like terms. In other words, if we have three x plus five x and we combine those, our answer is eight x. Okay. Now, let's look at the first problem. So, we have 3 square roots of 2 over 5 square roots of 2. And we can see that the radicals are the same. So, we add them. So, 3 plus 5 is 8. So we get 8 square root of 2. And there's our answer. Alright, let's look at this one. We've got 7 cube root of 5 minus 3 cube root of 5. So you can see that the radicals are the same. So 7 minus 3 is 4 times cube root of 5. All right, let's take a look at another example. 3 square root of 8 plus 2 square root of 18. Now the radicals aren't the same, but if you notice this square root of 8 we can simplify it and we can simplify square root of 18. So this is equal to 3 times the square root of 4 times 2 plus 2 times the square root of 9 times 2. Now, the square root of 4 is 2, so 2 times 3. Now let's go ahead and write it out. 3 and then the square root of 4 is 2, so that's 3 times 2. And then this 2 here stays under the radical because it's not a perfect square. You can watch my videos on simplifying radicals if you don't understand how to simplify the radical. Plus 2. And then the square root of 9 is 3. So times 3. And this 2 stays under the radical. So this is equal to 6 square root of 2 plus... 6 square root of 2. And so now I have the radicals are the same. So 6 plus 6 is 12 square root of 2. And let's take a look at one more. So I have the uh, 2 cube root of 16 minus 6 cube root of 54. Well, the radicals aren't the same, but I can simplify the cube root of 16, and I can simplify the cube root of 54. So I have 2 times the cube root, and 16 is 8 times 2, minus 6 times the cube root, and 54 is 27 times 2. So... I have 2, and then the cube root of 8 is 2, times the cube root, and the 2 stays under the cube root because it's not a perfect cube, minus 6 times, and then the cube root of 27 is 3, times the cube root of 2. The 2 stays under the cube root because it's not a perfect cube. So I get 4 
times the cube root of 2 minus minus 18 times the cube root of 2. So this is equal to 4. Well, see, now I have the same cube root, the same radical. So 4 minus 18 is negative 14 cube root of 2. And there's my final answer. And that's all on adding, subtracting radicals.